Today, we're going to talk about uh, Pambala. What's Pambala? What's the deal between Pambala and Giveth? And um, we're going to talk more regarding the STEMS program that project owners and donors can leverage this program to increase their support for verified projects on Giveth. Uh, we're going to highlight all of the benefits of using the Pambala stamps um, and also govern that something new that project owners and donors can use to to get more funding and um, yeah, a little bit of guidance on how to get involved and make the most out of this opportunity that we have with uh, Pambala right now. So welcome everyone. Thank you for being here. And I would love to introduce you guys. Um, if, if Niran, you and Paul can introduce yourselves, a little bit of a presentation and Pambala, if you can talk more around that. Sounds good. I'll go first. Uh, hello, everybody. My name is Niran Babalola. I'm the founder of Panvala. Uh, I'll go into more about what Panvala is after I let Paul introduce himself first. Thanks, Niran. Yes, I am Paul Glavin. Uh, I am a Panvala contributor, and I am just kind of generally a full-time DAO contributor in the, the public goods funding space of crypto. Um, but very happy to be here. Awesome. So <clears throat> the, the quickest overview of what Panvala is, is to see it as a movement building an economy that funds communities first. Uh, if you look at the economy that we actually live in, uh, there are certain people who just naturally seem to have value flow to them. It seems like they're getting funded first. We call these people the rich uh, and really, we want to identify all those patterns that make value flow in that way and point them at communities instead. That's what it's all about. We want our, our economy to actually fund communities first. And we don't think that that's in any way a far-fetched thing because it's literally just taking the same way our economy works today and having the places where people are not doing work to earn money, like just being middlemen, like uh, banks, uh, ad networks that are selling you as the product. We want instead communities to receive the money that they're getting and we're organizing people to be able to capture that opportunity. That's what Panball is all about. So the, the way to see how it works is basically to think of every community that is really, that, that you might be a part of, that other people might be a part of online and in the real world as part of a broader movement that is uh, aiming to shape our economy to function in this way. And the way that you take action in this movement is by collecting stamps. Uh, if you're familiar with uh, NFTs and how those work, uh, the, these stamps happen to be NFTs. If you aren't familiar with NFTs, you don't need to know anything about NFTs to do this. Because again, this is just about taking action. It's not necessarily about using a specific technology. It's about organizing collective action to shift the way our economy works. So the two things that our communities do in Panvala to shift our economy in this way is giving together and shopping together. Giving together is about basically in each of the cities that we live in, uh, helping people build a culture of kind of tithing, but across communities. So there's many communities that have the sort of expectation that you're giving on a regular basis to support what that community is doing. We want everybody across every city to feel that same sort of culture without the tie to one particular community. It's not that, hey, we're both in the same community, so we expect that we're both giving to this community. It's like, hey, you're in a different community than me, but which community do you give to? Like uh, the, the cultural expectation that everyone is giving to something locally is what that giving together part of Panbala is. It helps communities capture value that they can't actually get access to today. And most of that value is the same sort of value when you notice your, your rent magically just go up and it keeps increasing. Like no one has done more work to make your housing any better, but it just keeps going up. Uh, that's value that we think we can actually show communities how to capture and make flow into their communities instead by giving in this collective way across a whole city. Again, it's not just about specific communities giving, it's literally everybody giving 
that's what builds up that economic leverage to push back against that extraction and have more of that value flow into communities. Instead, that's why we give together. The second part and the part that you that we want each and every one of you to do today is shopping together. So shopping together is how we organize our communities to capture marketing dollars in our economy. Right now, when a business wants more customers to come in the door, they write a check to Facebook or to Google to get more customers and Facebook and Google say, hey, we have all these users. We're gonna put ads in front of their faces and some of those people are gonna come by from you. Uh, we still like the, the businesses that you and I actually shop with are typically businesses that we like. <laughs> uh, they provide a good product, a good service that we enjoy. Uh, it's these middlemen, the, the, the advertising giants that are just that just stick themselves in between and people tend to not like them because again we are not actually the customer we are the product they're they're selling our attention to businesses that are just trying to make an honest living at the end of the day but it's these middlemen these people capturing all these marketing dollars that we believe we can shift those dollars to communities instead and that's how we shop together to make these uh, that happen when you uh, use a product or you make a purchase from a company that is offering Panvala stamps. Those stamps have value behind them that the, that the company is actually supporting them with. They're saying, hey, here's a $5 stamp for trying out my product, or here's a $2 stamp for making a purchase of a certain size with my business. The same sort of uh, marketing dollars that they would have spent with some sort of third party middleman. Instead, they're saying, hey, we will give this value to you as a stamp and you can take it to fund any community you want to fund. And in that way, they're getting the same result, more customers in the door, customers that are coming because they see another way to support their community. And again, the, the community at the end of the day is getting those resources instead of that middleman. That's why we shop together. There's so much value out there being spent to get customers in the door. And we believe every single one of those dollars can and should go to communities at the end of the day. The more that we give together and the more that we shop together, the more value in our economy flows naturally to communities. It's not some sort of, um, uh, it, it, it's, it's, it's not that much new from what you've already seen out in the world. It's companies spending marketing dollars that now go to your community. And it's giving in a collective way locally to prevent the kind of extraction that we see from banks, from landlords, from all these middlemen who just constantly ratchet up prices without doing any more work. That's something that we can actually organize to push back against. So that's what Panball is all about. Uh, right now there are about 300 communities participating uh, in the network and we wanna keep growing that because again, it's about uh, across each of the cities that we live in, getting as many people participating as possible. That's where that economic leverage comes from. It's uh, one community alone can't sh make that shift in the economy that we're trying to make happen. It's literally getting as many people working together as possible. If you're familiar with how the union, uh, the labor movement uh, made all of its gains, it's not by getting one uh, group of employees to work together to build up that leverage. It was really about getting lots and lots of smaller labor unions working together to push on the economy and get the results that they wanted to get. This is that same pattern, except it's communities working together to push against the, the economy to get resources that were going to these middlemen that weren't providing value and having them uh, having that value go to our communities instead. Uh, that's Pen Ball. Thank you so much. I, I really like how you explained the whole system around Bambala and around the rationale that that Pambala operates with of using the same economic system basically but for good projects and for good causes and for communities um i work in mar in marketing basically my whole life and i really think that is is a very smart move to be able to use the money that normally companies or entities invest in 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 marketing and then use Web3 technology to, to create a circle that benefits community. And um, I invited actually Emprendeda, which is one of, of our projects, of our Giveth Verified projects that is more 
I would say the most active of all regarding Pambala for him to share a little bit of, of um, his experience with this. But before going with with Teo and his experience regarding uh, Pambala, I would love for, for you, um, rather Paul or Niran, to explain the relationship between Givedan and Pambala. Um, how would you say this this community is related? How are they similar? I know that both are, of course, focused in, in social impact, in for good projects, in promoting and supporting pub public goods. But how uh, would you describe this relationship and how actually the partnership between Pambala and Give It started? And maybe what does this mean? Yeah, for sure. I can, uh, I can share my experience um so or, originally um when when Penvela first started uh it was a network of communities that all um understood the value of a, a shared communal treasury and and they became members of Penvela and they they kind of joined this movement that back then was just like a a, a very early there wasn't stamps back then and there wasn't city organizations um it was just a shared communal panvela treasury um and the original communities that were excited about that and that first joined panvela were all very web3 specific um there's a lot of projects that build infrastructure for web3 um there's like gitcoin and bright id and um people that are very much in this space and completely disconnected, I would say, from the real world. Um, and so when the, the Pinvale of Stamps campaign first rolled out, the one of the beautiful parts about it was that it was actually something that can help communities that aren't necessarily part of Web3. Um, and Giveth is a beautiful example of a existing Web3 project that's doing real work and bridging that connection between Web3 and the real world. And so when uh, Panvela was first structuring the Stamps campaign, uh, we liked the idea that uh, the Giveth communities would be um, potentially more receptive to understanding how to, how to use stamps and how to, to collectively uh, fund their communities with, with a new innovative approach like this. Um, so, Yeah, that's when we uh, first got in touch with Giveth. Um, it was a pretty simple pitch uh, because who like the opportunity for the Giveth communities is that they can get more funding for their communities. And um, underneath the hood, what's happening is a lot more interesting than that. And It, it fits very much into Giveth's long-term goals as well, that Giveth is working on funding um, communities that don't have traditional revenue streams, um, basically like nonprofits and governments, things that we used to fund through donations and taxes and grants. Um, so, yeah, I think... Uh, I think... When this partnership first started, it kind of made sense for everyone involved really quickly. Um, and yeah, so now now the, the next step is, is expanding that beyond just uh, give its communities to geographic areas, um, which is what Niran was mentioning with the, the city stamps program. I hear that you're kind of like, I don't know if Paul, if you're in in a jungle or in a city, because I hear some birds, but also I hear some like uh, city noise, but it sounds nice when wh wherever you are, it sounds, it sounds you know, nice. I, I live at an airport. I live in an airplane hangar. So you're hearing the sounds of Compton City Airport behind me. <laughs> Oh, nice, nice. Uh, every time that I talk to you, you're in a different place. So that's that's uh, that's really cool that you can visit so many places and live on an airport. 
but yeah thank you thank you so much um paul for for sharing this this story of how Giveth and Pambala are uh, relate to each other and okay let's let's dive in the details on how actually this program the Pambala stamps can support verified give it projects and the importance of this and also I would love to to dive a little bit later into details on how can we actually make this collaboration and this impact uh, bigger but um, before we go into all of that, can you explain uh, maybe, Niran, on how this Pambala Stamps program work with the Give Us Verified projects? How can the actually project owners benefit from this? Sounds good. So every project that is a verified Give Us project can already uh, collect stamps and earn value for your community. Uh, for Typically, for a community to be able to collect stamps, they need to join Panvala itself first. So there's an application process, and then uh, you get admitted to the network, and then you can collect stamps. Uh, if you're already part of Giveth, Giveth is now a uh, there's now a Giveth chapter of Panvala that basically automatically grants Panvala membership to verified Giveth projects. So you're already you're already ready to go. All you have to do is collect stamps yourself and show your community members how to do the same thing. So, one second. So the, the, the way that it works is you go to panvala.com slash stamps. And the first thing you'll see there is the city stamps. And then below that is the sponsored stamps. The sponsored stamps are really the focus for you right now as a give with project. So the, the most straightforward stamp to collect is the govern stamp. Govern is a tool for DAO contributors and DAOs themselves to be able to record contributions, uh, make it easy for everybody to see what's going on in the DAO, and then as a DAO contributor to be able to take your portfolio of contributions with you to the next DAO that you might want to be a part of. It'll be easy for everyone to know what you're good at doing, what you've done in the past, because you'll actually own those contributions on chain and that record will follow you wherever you want to take it. So basically Govern wants people to try out Govern. Uh, they want you to feel what it's like to record your contributions on chain and show people in your DAO the same thing. So basically, once you try out Govern, you can claim a Panvala stamp that's worth $5 for your community. Uh, so once you have that $5 stamp, you choose your community from the list and your community gets that $5. Right now, Panvala is actually matching the stamps that communities collect. So this quarter is projected that you'll actually get more than $5 from the stamps that you collect uh, from that Govern stamp in particular. Uh, so the basically, the what Govern could have done is just bought ads and said, hey, are you a DAO contributor? Try out Govern. Here's how it works. And then Twitter would have got that money. Facebook would have got that money. Google would have got that money. Uh, what they're doing with this Panball Stamp campaign is saying, hey, if you're a part of a community with DAO contributors in it, Instead, you can be the uh, person, your community can be what sends users to govern and your community can get that money instead. And that's how we can fund communities in a sustainable way. Uh, again, govern loves communities, but what they're doing isn't a charitable uh, effort. It's not just out of the goodness of their own heart. They literally are trying to achieve a business goal. They want more people to try out govern. And as a result, your community is getting funded. That's the, that's the bridge that we're trying to build with every, com uh, every business in our economy to every community in our economy so we can cut out that middleman, the Facebook, the Google, et cetera, the TV advertising networks, all those people in the middle who are just selling us as a product. We want that value to go to communities instead. So uh, you, uh, the first step is to try out Govern. And the second step is to go to panvala.com slash stamps and click claim stamp for the govern stamp. And then once you go through that process, you'll be able to show everyone in your community how that works. So you can show them how they can try out govern and also get funding for your community at the same time. You're trying out a tool that can be useful for your community. You're earning value that can be useful for your community. It's a win-win situation and it's all about spreading the word so more people make it happen. Love it. And also, I was really surprised the other day because um, Teo that's here with us and now I, I would really want to go with him for, for him to share his experience with, with Bambala because he showed me a really, really great medium post explaining the step-by-step -step of Giveth. 
staking, give power, everything regarding the Kiev economy, and he also included in this post Pambala and govern everything written in Spanish, like, trying to explain for 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 newbies or newcomers how they can claim uh, this this extra fund with govern. How can they? take advantage of the of the Pambala stamps program so i would love to go with with teo uh we're please i first i would love to to ask your patience teo speaks spanish so we're going to to sweep a little bit to to so switch to spanish right now sorry and uh then i'm going to do some translation but teo como estas eh, pues queremos ahora sí que tú nos cuentes sobre, sobre tu experiencia usando eh, Pambala. ¿Qué, ¿Qué le ha parecido a Emprendedao? Hola, gracias por la invitación. Bueno, mi experiencia ha sido satisfactoria. Hemos trabajado, hemos pasado, a, esta es la segunda ronda de, a ver, de segundo trimestre de estar Emprendedao en Pambala. Y bueno... Han sido seis meses de arduo trabajo enseñando a las personas a, a reclamar sello, a participar en la comunidad, a estar siempre activa, a, la, a las notificaciones que nosotros estamos enviándoles. Bueno, eh, nosotros también hemos apoyado a otras comunidades también porque nosotros somos activos en Chenanigan, un, un, este un proyecto de, de atletas y entonces por, eh, eh, hemos le, dicho a la comunidad también que apoye también a Chenanigan en la, en la recolección de sellos eh, este, una de las maneras de nosotros mantener activa porque es difícil mantener una comunidad activa, somos, somos pocos pero es difícil que, partic que participe en la gobernanza entonces nosotros hacemos propuestas eh, de prueba para que la gente siempre esté activa y no se decline de dejar el proyecto. Perdónenme, estaba, estaba muteada. Súper, Cheo, déjame hago una traducción y ahorita continuamos con tu experiencia. So, Cheo is saying that This is actually their second trimester using using Pambala stamps and that it has been a challenge to have an active community. Cheo is from Venezuela. So he's telling us that he's, he's, uh, he's facing a challenge to have an active governance with within the community. Um, he's also saying that he's not only Uh, using Pambala stamps for himself, but for also a project, a local project of athletes in Venezuela that takes advantage of this program too. And um, he tells, he's telling us that his experience has been great, has been very satisfac satisfactory. I don't know if that word exists, but he's very satisfied with, with the stamps program. And yeah, I don't know if Paul, you or Niran would like would like to ask something to Cheo, maybe add something to his experience that, that he's adding us. Yeah, it would be interesting to hear more about uh, Emprendedal, um, like what what they're what they're doing, what they're working on, who's who's participating, and 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 maybe how they found out about. Um, the stamps program. Sure, I love that question. Um, Cheo, ¿nos puedes contar un poquito de Emprende Dao y cómo conociste a, a, al programa de, de Pambala? Bueno, Emprende Dao es una idea que nosotros teníamos desde hace algunos años. Hicimos un grupo en, en WhatsApp y se trata de, de impulsar emprendimientos, pero esos emprendimientos no van a ir solos, sino van acompañados. De, de, en este caso de la DAO y de otros emprendimientos donde nos apoyemos mutuamente para seguir este, creciendo y por ejemplo ahorita nosotros ya tenemos cinco proyectos que estamos trabajando pero este, cada proyecto este, no son individuales Entonces, es un proyecto en grupo todos deberíamos trabajar en cada proyecto y bueno yo conocí a Pambala 
gracias a, como te digo, yo tra este, somos activos en Chenanigan y empezamos a participar, eh, a buscar información sobre qué era Pambala, por qué, este, y veíamos que, que había un, no, cuando nosotros entramos había 90 comunidades, pero no hacían el trabajo que, que de reclamar sellos, no, no, no veía esa participación, entonces nosotros nos contactamos con ellos buscando información de cómo nosotros podemos ingresar como miembros de Pambala. Eso fue como en septiembre, septiembre, sí, septiembre del año pasado, hicimos esa, 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 eh, esa iniciativa y en octubre, noviembre, ingresamos a Pambala. Listo. Buenísimo. So, um, Chos is mentioning that Emprende Dao is a project that also covers different projects that is integrated for five projects right now, different entrepreneurships, um, as the one of athletes that he was mentioning before. And the idea is to support all, this, all these projects and work together to grow them as a community using Web3 technology. And also he's mentioning that um, they they discovered uh, Pambala because of of his um, uh, because of his willing of keep supporting this this project. And uh, he's telling us that actually when when they started to be active in the community, they noticed that not very much projects were active, not not a lot of projects were were collecting stamps, and they have been noticing how the community has been growing. In the last couple of, of months. Um, muchas gracias, Cheo. Voy a ir con, con Paul y con Irán. Ahora eh, volvemos contigo. Ahí sí puedes mutearte porque como que se está metiendo ruido de tu micrófono. Pero muchísimas gracias. Um, so yeah, it's, it's really great to have um, Cheo with us telling, telling his story, telling his experience. He recently had an, an activity in which in real life he future giveth and Pambala in banners and, and so on. It was, it's really great to see all this effort happening in, in Venezuela. Uh, I would love to now go kind of like to the last part of this Twitter space to to ask you, Paul or Niran, what is what is missing with the stamps program and with Pambala and what we can do Uh, from Giveth to support more. Um, which challenges have you have you noticed that um, are maybe kind of like slowing the, the process of more communities taking advantage of this marketing money? Yeah, so from our end, it's really about making sure that there are stamp campaigns available for all kinds of uh, products and purchases that people in our communities might actually use in our economy. So the, the, the way the program started out with was basically from Web3 companies trying to reach Web3 communities and having stamps offered uh, to kind of connect those two together. And there, there are some people in Web3 who use a lot of Web3 products, purchase beans from Web3 companies, et cetera, but uh, most people don't. Um, a lot of people in Web3 aren't spending money in Web3. They're making money in Web3. So it's not really about the purchases that people are making with uh, companies. So the Web3 sponsors were always basically kind of like the, the starting point for the stamp campaigns. And with next quarter, we want to make sure that people can earn stamps from all kinds of businesses. So that's really the the, the focus for next quarter, making sure that Uh, when you buy, when you book your travel, that you can get a Panvalo stamp. When you buy something from an e-commerce store, you can get a stamp. Uh, when you're trying to uh, uh, buy your next pair of shoes or clothes, things, things that you actually shop for, that you can earn Panvalo stamps and earn funding for your community every time you're making a purchase. Uh, so people can get in that habit of really shopping together. When you're making a purchasing decision, being able to say, hey, I'm going to shop with all the other communities in Panvala at this particular business so we can get more of their marketing dollars. That's the uh, culture, that's the skill set that we're trying to build up with all of our communities and uh, getting people in the habit of uh, basically checking Panvala to see if they can earn a stamp whenever they make a purchase 
is the uh, the behavior that we're building up. So next quarter, there's going to be way more places that you can earn stamps from making a purchase. And basically, you'll just forward your receipt to Panvala, uh, get that verified, and earn a stamp uh, uh, when you've made a purchase at those places. So definitely be on the lookout for that. For this quarter, you still want to collect the governed stamp and the other stamps that are still available at panvala.com slash stamps. And next quarter, when you go and check it out, there's going to be far more places you can earn stamps from. And we want to work with people who are based in the different cities that our communities are based in to be able to customize that uh, per city. Maybe there's a local business that it makes sense to be able to earn a stamp for. We want to get that set up for you so it's easier for you to show your community members how and where they can collect stamps, that there's businesses that they actually uh, are in the market for that they can earn stamps from. So that's the main thing coming. Making sure that people can co like collect stamps over and over again is that key hurdle that we need to get over. So that habit of uh, basically checking Panvala to see which businesses you can earn stamps for builds up over time. And I imagine that that's kind of related to the city chapters that I've seen somehow featuring Pambala communication. And I think that this is something that I talked with Paul when we when we were at East Denver. So like this, this idea of having more commerce and locals using stamps, it would be tied to also um, have the program more into like cities as well. Absolutely. So there's there's two key reasons. Uh, there's a couple of key reasons why the city chapters in Panvala are so important. Uh, the <clears throat> being able <clears throat> being able to make sure that local businesses uh, you can earn stamps for that's one of the big reasons. But it's also because this uh, culture of giving together that we're trying to build alongside the culture of shopping together, the actual economic impact really shines when it's people who you live close to. One of the biggest uh, things that I think we're doing wrong in Web3, particularly the region corner of this Web3 uh, movement that's happening, is that so much of our attention is global. We're looking at what we can do online with people all over the world. We're meeting up with people from all over the world in all sorts of different cities. And there's, there's good that can come of that, but what we've missed is the power that you can actually build up locally. The, when you work together with people you live close to, that makes you actually economically stronger to be able to push back against middlemen who you pay today for things like uh, you're paying your bank, you're paying your landlord, you're, uh, these uh, advertising middlemen are getting all this money. The, the more that you work together with the people who live close to you, the easier it is for you to push back against that. If you're spread out, if you're all over the world, it's hard to actually push back against that. So focusing attention on local chapters is really what Panvala is all about. So right now, the uh, local chap the first local chapter is the Austin local chapter. That's where I live. There's a Denver chapter that's getting up and running. Uh, there's a couple of potential chapters in LA and New York. And uh, there's a whole bunch of communities that we have in Nigeria that we want to create, uh, not necessarily a city chapter, but basically a more localized chapter for the Nigerian communities. And ideally doing something similar in Venezuela, where Cheo and Emprende Dao are really shining, is something that we want to get done. Uh, Almond, we'd love to have a Mexico City chapter. Uh, there's, there's so many uh, really tr trying to shift the focus locally. So that's a core part of the story that's happening how you bring on your local community, how you get stamps from your local business, uh, how you give to uh, local communities uh, on a regular basis. So everyone who's participating can ask that question, hey, which community are you giving to? And everybody has an answer to that because that's a core part of the movement, making sure that we get to that point where giving to any community is something that everyone is expected to do that's uh, that that happens locally. That that's not a that's not a culture that can build up across the internet. It's a culture that needs to build up face to face, and the meetups that we go to, and the events that we go to, with the people we actually live close to. So that's uh, the the local chapters are definitely a big focus for us. We want to continue serving the online communities because those are still important. But we want to have everybody involved, both in Panvala, Giveth, but across Web three kind of turn their attention 
uh, away from the internet a little bit and more outside to the, the place that they actually live and uh, show people the impact that they can make with the people around them. Nice. I agree 100% that we need to to get out of the internet and actually start locally as, as yeah, as you were mentioning, as Cheo is, is doing with, with the meetups and the events that he's putting together with, with his local communities. And uh, we're really, we're really excited to, to keep this partnership and this movement uh, growing with you guys. We recently launched uh, an amb a Give Us Ambassadors pilot first season. We're kind of like pivoting and testing how can a Give Us Ambassadors program could look like. And it's so interesting that we only have Spanish speakers. I don't know if um, that that was kind of biased because the, the the main um, Give Us contributors that we're putting this together were Spanish speakers. But, but I think that there's a huge, huge potential uh, in Latin America and it, with Spanish speaking countries for for this to grow, for this to to evolve, and also and also for us to to actually test what what can can we improve with um, all all the programs and all the efforts that we've been putting together. So for sure, um, we would love to have you maybe in one of the sessions explaining more to them. What is Pambala stamps? How can a community actually collect stamps? What are the city chapters? Maybe some of them can open or want to open a city chapter in their local communities. Uh, I don't know. I think that, that would be great to, to, to have in the near future. So I'll keep you posted. And yeah, I would love to, to start closing um, this Twitter space, maybe with some final thoughts, with some call to actions. Um, where can people find more information uh, around how to collect stamps, how to collect the governed stamp? Also, I know that we're kind of like closing this um, second season, right, of, of Give Us Communities in, in Pambala. So the chart of the main communities receiving uh, stamps fund is going to be, get out soon. Absolutely. So basically this quarter in Panvala's calendar ends April 28th. Uh, so that's not this Friday, but next Friday. So the, the basically the stamps that you collect now <clears throat> are the stamps that will be uh, paid out uh, during the first week of May. So now is definitely the right time to be collecting stamps. You can collect stamps anytime, but really there's a, there's a deadline now. So definitely get those stamps in if you want to make that happen. Uh, at the end of the day, this movement is for you and it's by you. We believe that every community across our society can significantly increase the resources that they have available to do the things they like with the people they like. If you believe that we can build a better world for more people, this movement is for you. If you believe that there are uh, there's a community that you're a part of that adds meaning to your life and you want it to be able to be stronger and to, for it to thrive, this movement is for you. And maybe you don't have any grand sort of do-gooder sort of mission that uh, really is the driving force behind what you do. This movement is for you. It's just about people coming together with the people they like to do whatever it is they do together. We believe that should be the focus of our society and our economy. It shouldn't be about how much value you can extract from your neighbors, from your peers. That seems to be the focus of so much people do. Uh, it, it should be about what we give to one another, about how we support one another, about how we benefit from working together with each other. That's what this is all about. Uh, we believe that so much of the value that's being captured by people who aren't adding any value, who are literally selling you and I as a product rather than providing us a service, that that value can go to your community instead and that you can take action to make that happen. Again, in Web3, we, we, uh, everybody, uh, a lot of people kind of have this general sense that we're focusing too much online and we need to do more in the real world. And that question always becomes, what do we do in the real world? What, what action do we need to take? In Panvala, we believe that there are two actions to take. One of them is giving together. 
giving to a community in the city you live in is an important part of what needs to happen. And the second thing is shopping together, capturing marketing dollars in our economy by making sure that we can direct customers to businesses rather than having middlemen do that on our behalf. That is what we need to do together. Uh, give, giving together and shopping together are the key levers that we can pull to change how our economy works, make it work for more people and put communities at the center of what we do together. If that sounds like a movement that you wanna be a part of, the first step to take today is to try out Govern, mint your contribution on chain and collect the Panvala stamp that you can take to fund your community. Uh, that value will be paid out to your community at the end of the quarter and you'll be able to feel what it's like to capture marketing dollars and have them fund your community instead. And the next steps are to keep that movement going, to keep finding more opportunities to collect Panvala stamps from different businesses you make purchases from, and to mint city stamps by giving to communities in your city. Those two actions are what we believe can create immense value for all the communities that participate. So again, this is all about uh, the, the, the power in this movement does not come from some sort of technology. It does not come from our Panvala team. It really comes from you and your communities, the way you show up, the way you participate. All we wanna do is show you how to work together with other communities to build up this power together. So at the end of the day, uh, this belongs to you. We want it to be shaped by you. Uh, so definitely let us know what's working for you what's hard for you so we can keep adjusting and keep getting to the point where communities are at the center of our economy. Uh, excited to grow this movement with each and every one of you. Very excited. And for the people that's here, remember that everything that, that Nidan mentioned right now applied to give us the verified projects because we are the first from ballot chapter, meaning that all the verified projects can can um, empower their communities to collect stamps and support them with marketing money, as as Nian was mentioning at the beginning of this Twitter space. Uh, Paul, any final words? Any call to actions that you would like to to mention before we close? Um. Well, no, I, no, that was great. Thank you, Almond. Um, one other thing though is the uh it, anyone that's contributing or, or uh redeeming stamps through the panvela chapter um giveth or i'm sorry that giveth chapter giveth is getting a portion of those stamp proceeds so it's this also helps giveth itself um which is a nice bonus but yeah no thank you very much almond that was this was a great a great twitter space and and i think neuron gave the pitch better than anyone on the planet can. <laughs> I agree. I think that he always, always in, in his talks and, and right now uh, he gives a great, a great pitch of, of Pambala and our partnership. And also we have a bunch of materials. If, if you want to learn how to collect stamps, how to collect uh, the govern stamp that's available right now, I just pin some tweets for you to check them out. And uh, let's let's see if Cheo has some final words. Cheo, tienes algún comentario, algo que quieras agregar antes de irnos? No, bueno, este, que quería comentarle una de las cosas que nosotros hacemos es eh, reunión, pero nosotros nos reunimos en presenciales, por ejemplo. Eh, ya por lo menos en estos seis meses hemos realizado tres, pro, tres encuentros. El último fue el domingo, el domingo, y nosotros en, ese, en esos encuentros hablamos, la, eh, tratamos de compartir un poco sobre lo que es Pambala, sobre lo que es Jive, eh, como invitamos de los cinco proyectos que tenemos y compartieron con, con una comunidad y así este, podemos buscar personas que quieran de, en realidad interesarse en el proyecto. Love it. She was mentioning that, yes, that as, as, as we were saying in real life, our, is the best way to empower communities and actually share this, this opportunities and technology. He mentioned that um, they already made 
two uh, in real life meetups with covering Pambala and Gifis and that he expects to keep doing this. So yeah, let's let's see how uh, we can contribute more with Emprendedal, with the community in Venezuela, with Pambala and with Giveth, so we can keep uh, growing this movement as Niran was mentioning. And nothing. Thank you so much, Niran, Paul, and Cheo. See you around. <laughs>